able to do that in front of your own fans and close out the Penguins? Uh, really proud. Uh, I thought we showed a lot of resiliency. I mean, they scored a, a you know a goal early. We were chasing the game a little bit, and uh, I thought when the game was two one, we got a huge save that gave us some momentum, and we came back and got it to the two two. I thought when it was five three, I think it was the Melkin breakaway. We got a huge save, and and we were we had settled us right down. But uh, obviously, uh, I like their resiliency. I like their physicality today. I like their detail. We got three three goals that resulted from uh, either a offensive zone face off, uh, def defensive zone face off that went all the way down uh, to score, and then one I, I think on a DBL. Uh, just uh, inside our or just outside our blue line and we're able to transition and, and execute and go go down the ice and, and score so uh lots of good things but i liked the, the surge that we had obviously three goals and i think it was about three minutes there um and then we battled we just battled uh they're really that's a terrific team over there with uh, some outstanding players hall of fame players and uh, they're so well coached i i thought sully did a uh, a masterful job this year uh, during the regular season. He was, uh, he's one of the, the, the best coaches that in this league. So um, we had our hands full and uh, I'm really proud of the guys because they dug in. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Yeah, uh, Barry, uh, first, uh, how did you think Travis did drawing in? I mean, he wins that key face-off there to set up Kulak's goal, and yeah. he uh, swipes the puck off the goal line. It, it seemed like he had been playing the whole way through. Well, you know what? Uh, Travis uh, has got uh, a lot of games under his belt, and um, he's terrific. I mean, he's such a detailed guy, and he's got a really quiet, competitive spirit. He doesn't get small by the moment. Uh, uh, his detail is excellent. Uh, he he jumped in there great. I thought that line was great tonight for us. Uh, the Pajot, uh, Paul Mary, and Zajac line they were they were excellent for us uh, in a faceoff circle. They had heavy matchups when they started uh, doubling up Crosby with uh, either Malkin or or Carter. Um, you know they got a good piece of that. So um, outstanding by them. And then. I, I thought the for us the Nelson line was really good. Uh, they responded. They had a couple of long shifts, but they responded uh, and got some big goals for us today. Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, I, I've often heard coaches, not not just in the NHL, say that you know, oftentimes, you know, it gets harder and harder as the playoffs go on. But sometimes the first round is, is the hardest to get out of. And I, I'm just wondering if you agree with that, or if you found that, and if so, yeah. why. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think the, for me, uh, obviously been in the league quite a, quite a while. And I think this is the seventh, seventh year in a row we've gotten to the second round. Um, and you work so hard to get to the playoffs. And in that first round, teams are so amped up. Um, and it's just a different level. And you you want it to continue and and so it's it's really hard and i think once you get through that first round you know it's going to be hard and and you almost get used to it it becomes a more natural thing for you 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 know you, you you've been at this level uh all year and then you've had to bring it to this level and it takes a piece of you but then you get used to it uh and then either, you know the next level gets gets here and then what happens as you go further and further down the road you know uh, that's why depth is really important because you get people start to get chipped away from your from your roster so that's why you want to get through a series very quickly uh, so you can you can get guys healthy uh, if they're if they're got a piece taken out of them during a, a series and that's why you need depth and uh, on the you know we're missing two pretty good players in Anders Lee and, and and Wallstrom tonight and you know when you can as a coach you know put in a Travis Zajac that's a that's a comfort level that is is every coach would want that and uh, that's why we we went out and got Travis and, and Palms and and tonight you know Paul Mary scores a, a big goal and he was crucial on that on that draw he went right to the net and uh, uh, their goaltender did not see that puck when, when Pulley scored. So, um, 
you know, those are the acquisitions that we made. Uh, Lou did a, a great job, and they're they're the type of players that that fit into the Islanders' uh, mentality. Arthur Staple, the Athletic. Barry, I know um, Sid's line certainly had a lot of zone time and a lot of attempts in this series, but but the way that that Pelic and Pollock who played against them for the most part played against them, especially these last couple of games. You see the the growth in them from a couple of years ago when they were maybe kind of burst on the scene to help shut those guys down two years ago. Yeah, a- absolutely. You're, 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 that's a, a very perceptive uh, question. Uh, and we've had this discussion, I think, uh, before when I, when I tried to do it too early for them, it, it was a little bit too much for them. And then as we kept, I will say force feeding them and, and, and giving them those, those type of uh, matchups, they got a comfort level and uh, they've become a really good, really good pair in, in the national hockey league as a as a pair and they did a great job they've done uh they did a great job in the uh the first series that we had against pittsburgh uh and they did a great job uh against them tonight and i mean sid sid is unbelievable how how he can create and uh, how how hard he is to contain uh he's a guy that that uh you know feels pressure and he can spin off and he can make plays and you know, on his forehand and backhand, he's so intelligent. It it takes a, a very uh, good group of, of players to, to try to defend him and, and keep him in check. And I give a lot of credit to that pair, but also all our centermen that are, are playing against him, you know, night in and night out. But Arthur? Just kind of along those lines, when you're playing Sid and, and Gino and Latang and those guys, you know you're going to give up chances. You guys seem to be comfortable in those sorts of situations where they have the puck a lot and, and they're generating a lot and there wasn't a lot, there wasn't really a lot of panic, even though the goals kind of traded a little bit. Do you just sense that, especially these last couple, even when things weren't going your way, the guys kind of lean back on that fundamental of they can have the puck, but as long as they don't get anything too dangerous, we'll be okay. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's precise. I mean, there's times when you're, you're, you're playing good defense and you can get, you know, you can get the puck stopped and, and you can get it out and you can, you can make a uh, exit play and all that. And there's times where, you know, you might've been playing in their end, they come in and now they got a little zone time and, uh, and all of a sudden it's hard to get it stopped. They're moving it quick and they've got the, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little fresher personnel out there at that time. And you just have to defend and survive and you have to go back to that security blanket of some fundamental uh, things uh, that you do systematically, but you have to dig deep. You have to, you got to dig real deep. Uh, you find out about, you know, a little bit of a gut check, see if a guy, you know, has heart. And this group has a lot of that. So, you know, sometimes when we get, the, the, there's a couple long shifts that we, we had a couple of them tonight. We were able to survive them. We were able to, to, to grind it out and uh, dig in. And that's, that's, says a lot about our group. Molly Walker, New York Post. Kind of along those lines, I mean, it was a pretty tough series overall, but in more than one game, you guys grinded through every lead change, every tie. What do you feel like that says about the hunger of this team? It says a lot because, uh, you know, on, honestly, Molly, uh, it is the, the, the playoffs are hard enough. And then when you have to chase the game, it is it's a grind mentally because the next mistake may be you know, put you in such a hole that you might not be able to dig out. So it, it, it is a challenge. I mean, you know, we were down in this series two games to one, you know, and we found a way to win in game five. And then we, we, I thought we played a pretty good game today and, and we had to come from behind. We haven't led in this series a whole lot. And that is a mental line for the, for the group. But it tells me a lot about them because they just stuck with it. They, they, they understand the process. They don't deviate too much from it. And we just find a way to, to, to keep on, on task. And when you do that, you can do a lot of things as a group. Uh, when we go off individually, uh, we're, we're not that, that good. But when we, everybody stays on task, um, a lot can get accomplished with, with the group. And I've always said this, uh, I've said it to every, probably every team I've had, you want to go somewhere fast, go by yourself. You want to go somewhere far, go with a group. And this, uh, this group believes in the, in, the, in the group, the strength in the group. Brian Compton, NHL.com. 
Barry, it really wasn't all that long ago you were playing games here in front of Andrew, myself, and probably five other people. Just what, what does it mean to win this game in this atmosphere tonight? Thank you. It means a lot. Um, you know, I talked, I, well, I talked to you guys this morning and I said it's about moments. I mean, this is a, this place has a great history and there's moments and opportunities. And I just said to the guys, listen, you know, when you're, when you're older, you really, you can see the moments and you appreciate the moments because you, you're, you're getting older and, and you may not have that many moments uh, as a player, as a coach, as a, uh, you know, person in life. And this is a moment that you don't want to slip by and go, you know, I should have and all that. So this is a good moment. This is a good moment for that group in there. This is a good moment for the guys that have played in this building a lot. This is a good moment for the young guys who are part of the Islanders. Um, everybody from a Wallstrom to a Barzell to a Beauvillier and having success and, and trying to create a, you know, hopefully another legacy. And, um, uh, you know, there's moments that you, you're going to enjoy. This is a moment that uh, with the crowd, the way they were, the importance of the game, uh, all that. This is a one of those moments that you bank in your memory bank. And, uh, you know, when you're finished your career, uh, you'll remember this moment because it, 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 these, uh, this is a, a good moment for, for everyone. Uh, our fans were fantastic. It was loud. Uh, they were they were into it. We were into it, and uh, without them, I don't know if we would have pulled this off. Honestly, we, they were they gave us a, a, a sense of you know we got to get this done for everybody. Colin Stevenson, Newsday. Barry, you indicated uh, you know a couple of days ago uh, that uh, Travis might be your your first uh, option if if a centerman had gone down, but if a winger had gone down. You know, you had other options. So I'm wondering if you if you sort of changed your mind uh, from from that sort of, um, you know, viewpoint or if there was a specific reason why you chose to put Travis in and not, you know, not one of your other options. Well, uh, we've had a, a couple of guys that are, are uh, you know, we've been practicing and, and um, honestly, honestly, one of the uh, uh, one of the guys that would have been uh, Del Cole. Uh, tweak something the other day so we, we, he wasn't really an option he's not hurt uh, to a point where he, he won't be an option but uh, for today he was not really an option and, and Wally didn't feel like he could he could go and tr to me Travis you know he's got a thousand games under his belt he's a uh, played against top people and a big moment and he I, I, I knew that that's the, that's just the right choice there's no Ifs and and about uh, he can help you with the uh, faceoffs. He can help you on the penalty kill. He can help you late in games. He can help you offensively. So, I mean, that wasn't really a, a choice. So one, one of the things that I, I felt that it was important was to get him to be a part of the group at the trade deadline. Uh, two, I, I, our center ice is is strong with Barzell and Nelson and Sazikis and. And Pajot, and there's a loyalty factor. These guys have been grinding for you know basically three years and done everything I've asked. That it, it's hard to pull those guys out because they they're good players, and I and I have a comfort level with them. And uh, I just wanted Travis to be a part of the group, and we tried him in different positions. And when I started this, uh, no different than uh, the playoffs last year. We had some good options on defense when we got uh, Greeny, and I started the, the playoffs with with Johnny Boychuk, uh, and and our defense who had grinded all year, and then Johnny got hurt, and Greeny came in, and you know um, Johnny wasn't able to play for the rest of the playoffs, and and it was a career-ending injury. So that was my thought process that we have a good option, and if we're going to go anywhere far, um, you know Travis is going to be you know part of it, and uh, he may just not start. Uh, to be a part of it uh, initially, but uh, um, right now he's, he, you know, he came in and did a great job and, you know, he feels a part of it. I know that after this win and that's a, that's a moment for him too. Last one here, Bruce Beck, NBC. Hey Barry, thank you for your time. We asked you the, the other night what you said to your group before that uh, second overtime and you said, dig in, play the right way, stick with it, who wants it more? Is it fair to say that that message carried forward tonight? Yeah, I think it did. I I, I think it did because this group is uh, 
a smart group. They understand their veteran group. And I know, I know it did. I, I know it resonated with them. Um, and uh, they were pretty dialed in. They were, they were dialed in this morning. Um, you could tell. And uh, I, I had a good feeling at the rink all day. I really did. Um, I felt that this group was, they're up, to, they're up for those, those challenges. And uh, we're going to have a, uh, a big challenge with the, the Boston Bruins. They're, they're, they're playing very, very well, as you saw. They uh, played the Capitals, and, and uh, they've got some, some game changers there, too, in that uh, perfection line. And then they've, they've really added to that second line. And they're a deep team that plays the right way. And, and it'll, it'll, be a, uh, it'll be an event for both teams. Thank you.